Good afternoon. The First Minister is ruling out an independence referendum in 2017. Nicola Sturgeon says she will continue to argue Scotland's case for staying in the European single market ahead of the UK's Brexit negotiations. The Scottish Government's consultation on a second independence referendum closes on Wednesday. There's not going to be an independence referendum in 2017. I don't think there is anybody that thinks that is the case. But an independence referendum has to be on the table to make sure that Scotland doesn't end up in the position of being driven off a hard Brexit cliff edge uh, by a UK government that said in 2014 that voting no was the only way to stay in the EU and now wants to steamroller Scotland's voice and opinion. I will not let that happen. Police are investigating after a woman's body was found in Woodland in Glenrothes. Officers were called to the area near a Boyne Way at around 10.30 on Sunday morning following the discovery. The death of the 52-year-old is being treated as unexplained while investigations continue. Scotland's skills system needs to change to meet future challenges, according to a think tank report. IPPR Scotland say colleges, apprenticeships and work-based training should be focused on tackling low pay and productivity issues. Changes in technology will also require the workforce to have new skills and mean they work longer on multiple careers. Changes in, um, in automation will see a, a big change in the roles that we do in Scotland um, and the, the skill system will really need to support us in those changes and to make sure that we have the skills that employers and businesses are looking for. Babies born to mothers who take heartburn medication during pregnancy could have a greater risk of developing asthma, according to new research. It found children whose mothers were prescribed drugs to deal with acid reflux were more likely to be treated for the breathing condition. Experts stress the research is at an early stage and is not conclusive. They advise expected mothers to continue to take any medication they need under the guidance of their doctor or nurse. Now here's Alex Hill with a look at the weather forecast. STV Weather. Sponsored by Thompson. Good afternoon. Well, it's hang on to your hats time, I think. Lots of wind, lots of showers, sleet and snow over the hills as well. So a really uncomfortable afternoon. As we head through the latter part of the day, though, you tend to find that it'll get a little bit drier for a little while over on the eastern side, but through the evening and overnight, still those showers driving in with a very strong west to northwesterly wind. But then again, towards the end of the night, once again, it's about shelter. You start to see things drying out just a little bit over there on the eastern side. So windy, as we said, touch of gales for a time in the northwest. Lowest temperature around four or five. Tuesday, a repeat performance. If you can get some shelter, you'll see some sunshine. Showers elsewhere. STV Weather, sponsored by Thompson. And that's it for the moment. The STV News at 6 will have a full roundup of the day's news and sport. In the meantime, you can keep up to date with all the very latest on the STV News app. From everyone on the Lunchtime team, do have a very good afternoon. Goodbye for now. <laughs>